All right, update number eight um, from up here in the Catskill Mountains. Uh, this is update number eight on March 17th, and a lot has happened. Um, I think we're all aware of everything now. It's no longer at the point where um, any of us are in denial or not seeing it. Now it's kind of a matter of making the best of what's going on here. I'm actually sitting in my car because I went to go pick up wood pellets. We have a wood burning pellet stove up here. Um, and obviously I didn't want to go into stores or anything. So what was really great is I called the fireplace store, which is still operating because up here it's considered necessary and said, Hey, can I pay over the phone with a credit card? And can you just leave the bags of wood stove, wood pellet stove, um, pellets out in your driveway. I'll be there in like 10 minutes. You don't have to touch me. I don't have to touch you. We don't have to see each other. And they were like, yeah, good idea. No problem. So I went and got a bunch of bags of pellets. Um, and it was contactless and good. And I feel good about that. And then it dawned on Yosef and me that what are people going to do about car payments and mortgages. And I know everyone's already talking about rent that they're in Canada. I have been hearing from people that um, people are not making rent and mortgage payments. But in the US, I think things are different. I know um, eviction notices have been deferred or there's a moratorium on them or they're at least stopped. But um, I was seeing some pretty nice cars on the road and wondering like, what are people doing? So I actually called the bank that we work with and I said, hey guys, what's going on if people have leases, because leases are also credit-based um, or anything else. And our bank told us very clearly that they're offering anyone who calls the ability to defer their current lease payments um, for up to two months and they just tack it on to the amount that you owe at the end of the lease. So let's say your next payment is due April 1st. You would say, listen, I need it deferred and you don't have your next payment due till June 1st. I think for a lot of people that'll really help them. It's car payments are significant money for most people. Um, and I thought that was, I don't, I don't know if that's like a new thing that's happening because of all this or if that's bank generosity. I don't know if that exists or what's happening. But um, everyone, if you have a lease or car payments, you should definitely call your bank or your lease or car payment um, finance company and say, hey, can I defer these? If anyone has any information about what is going on with mortgages and like each city or state's um, different laws about rent, tell us. Do you see my husband walking around in the back? That's Yosef saying, I'm not going to any stores. I don't want to be exposed. <laughs> um, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. This is like nervous laughter. So the car payment thing I think will be helpful to a lot of people. Um, I've been hearing and seeing their petitions going around New York City uh, for people to be able to defer rent payments. I don't know how that's going to work for landlords. Um, I've been a landlord myself and it's a little bit scary because if a bank is not willing to put a hold on a mortgage, then how can you just not collect rent? Um, but I know in our case, we have done our best to be as forgiving as possible. And in the meantime, I still want to support a lot of businesses. I want to give back to everyone who needs it the most. So if you are in a small business and you want me to shout you out on Instagram, again, I will do my best to give a few of those every day. Um, I put up one yesterday. My friend Jesse has one of these telemedicine apps and he is doing $10 a month unlimited telemedicine for his app. Um, I think that's incredible. I'll put the information down below and hopefully you'll comment with whatever tips and like financial strategy that you've got because... 
it's recession o'clock over here. Um, in the meantime, I'll update again tomorrow and talk to you all soon.